Every good fisherman knows that fishing begins at home. Making bracelets, doing dishes, that kind of stuff, you know? Well, let's see what we can hook up today. It's 525, about an hour before sunrise. I'm gonna try to fish the minor bite today, which is around 745. Sea conditions look to be ideal today. Feeling good. Got one, son, with a net. We got crush over there, coming up and breathing. Spook me. I have never seen it so calm out here. There are no surfers, no paddle boarders. That usually means the waves suck and that's good for us visibility is insane i'm at a little over 21 feet and i can see right to the bottom clearly there are no fish here it's about an hour before the minor bite time but i'm gonna put a bait out anyways you never know. Oh, yes he is. Not taking any chances. I'm going with my wire rig today. There we go, looks good. My first bite was unsuccessful. Looks like he bit right in between the hooks. Murphy's Law. Apparently these yellow snappers are invasive, so we want to get rid of them anyways. I'm just going to float them as a bait and see if it produces anything. Moving down to a three-out circle hook here. up to something looks like it's something decent it's actually pulling my drag 146 feet ah, I'm nervous about this line it's not very strong oh come on come on I'm gonna baby it stay on stay on loosen up my drag let him take my drag if needed. I was just trying to catch bait with my sabiki rig, but looks like something decent hooked up. Unless I've got multiple fish on there. Trying to be real gentle here. If I horse him in, he's gonna snap this line. Running 15 pound floral, so. Not much room for air. All right, looks like might just have multiple snappers on here. Another one of these dudes. False alarm, false alarm. This is unreal, it's glass out here. That means the fish can see us and know everything that's going on. Not necessarily a good thing. I think this is a Moana fish. Supposed to be really good eating, but too small for us. Looks like we got some baked fish here. Hopefully. Ah, oh, dang it. Trigger fish. 
trigger happy. Something big just took my bait. Oh my goodness. We are hooked up at 69 feet. Maybe something on the bottom. My first big fish here. Let's see if we can control it. Right drop. Man, it's feeling like a shark. Running like one too. Just tire it out first. Maybe in a lure. I'm only running floral leader, so if it's a shark, it would have bit me off. Hoping it's a tuna, something I can eat. I thought I was stuck on my propeller. All right, I see it. Oh, saw something. Oh yeah. I think it's a, it's not a papillo, it's not an alua. A nilu maybe? Either way, it's a keeper. I might have to gaff this guy. Hey, learn my fish. Reach out to my boy Matt Yin, teach me. Damn, look at that beautiful fish. Good 20 pounder.
Definitely the biggest fish I've caught. This is definitely uh, at least 20 pounds. Cut his gills, beat him out a little bit. This is Lucas, my fishing buddy. I'm gonna borrow his bag. Lizard fish and trumpet fish. Double whammy. I've been having a lot of issues with my spin fisher six. I'm disappointed. The line just doesn't come off the spool well. And I I've had a lot of wind knots because of it. At first I thought it was my line or my rod, but now I'm realizing it's just the design. It's not great, which is unfortunate because Spinfisher generally is a good reel from pin. Kind of bummed. Might reach out to them. I don't know, anyone else have issues with their Spinfisher? The sea conditions just changed on a dime. It's like dangerously rough out here. So I'm just like booking it, trying to get back into the harbor. No time to mess around. Can't even bring my line in. I'm like uh, trying to find my center of gravity because the, the waves are coming in at a side, from the side. Made it back to the harbor safely. It was rough. Look at this massive school of sardines changes the color of the water. There's gotta be billions of them in there. Kahala or amberjack have varying levels of ciguatera toxin and it makes sense because they feed on reef fish that eat plankton that have the toxin. However, a few friends suggested that the smoking process would make it safe to eat. So I prepped the kahala and even smoked it but I decided not to chance it. There are better fish out there and I'm still in the hunt to catch my first shibi in Mahi Mahi. If you enjoyed my content, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, mahalo.